Welcome back to my channel, LR Retro. Now, we will review the next chapter of Grappler Baki, the prehistoric pickle arc. It's the chapter where the Grand Master Kaku Kaio teach Tarachi Katsumi the perfect technique. Do you think Katsumi will be able to master this technique? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki volume collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts inside the Shinshinkai headquarters. Arachi Katsumi is talking to Retsu saying. Right here. This line right here. That's the shockwave. The wave motion that happens with the explosive detonations of bullets or jets, that shows the moment when the sonic speed has been exceeded. Supersonic speed can be reached normally with the use of gunpowder or jets. In the case of humans, they can reach it only with this special item. This one? A whip? Yes, with a simple leather strip. If you use it the right way, the speed of the head will break the sound barrier, making a really loud sound. Damn. You just swung it on the air without hitting anything. But still, that loud explosive sound tells you that it's supersonic speed. Here it is. Whoa. That's a great shot. The high-speed camera captured the head of the whip. So, this is the exact moment when the sonic speed happened. And the rippling circle is the shockwave. Approximately 10 joints in total, starting from the big toe. Must be running at full speed to break the sound barrier. The speed of sound is 5 seconds per mile. Which means the speed at each joint has to exceed 65 miles per minute. It's impossible. Hmm. There are not that many joints. Exactly, not enough joints. What would you do in that case? Retsu smiled. Then said. Then I'll use the backbones. The spinal cord. Right on. The backbone is made out of 31 bone pieces. 17 pieces of which are related to movements. The effect of simultaneous acceleration of these resulting in total of 27 movable points. It will break the speed of sound. The prodigy Arachi Katsumi managed to launch a mock punch that surpasses the speed of sound. However, he is still worried saying. But Grand Master Retsu. I wonder if this is enough. If I can do any real damage to the muscle tissues of that powerful prehistorical man. I wonder if the past opponents of that guy have been any better in a combat situation. Of course. There is way more to do it. This alone isn't enough. Now you're talking. Katsumi, listen. This technique has so many possibilities. Possibilities to add more speed and weight to that hand of yours. Here. Also here. And then, here. Activating from the third to the first joint of the fingers. Further power and speed can be generated. But if you dare ask more performance and wish to add weight to it, then it will be right here. Using your brain? Not quite. The heaviest part of a human body, the head. Make it run at full speed. And you'll equip the sharp spear hand with the head's weight. On this day, it marks the completion of the most impeccable weapon in the history of karate. Retsu is amazed saying. Ah, now I see. Why everybody calls you lethal weapon. Once upon a time, a very strong Japanese man went over to China. He was constantly engaging on kumite bouts with numerous martial artists and he was victorious all the time without a single exception. This warrior was known as the mighty Arachi Dapo. Legend says that, upon returning to his country, he saw a child in a circus troupe whose talent exceeded even his own. Out of fear of this talent, he purchased the child, paying a hefty price, only to have him trained to be the next Arachi demon of karate. Katsumi laughed then said. He told them that? My dad is incorrigible. This and many other stories are told as a fact by the people in China. However, looking at what you have become, and the level you are now, I've started to feel that these tales may not be so far from the truth. It's not. To the circus part that is. The rest was just made up. Cause he loves weird stories. Even if Arachi, my father turned out to be a soft man. It would have been so much easier for me. Retsu genuinely smiled then said. You've already attained it. You loaded the unique weapon of karate called the spear hand with the heaviest part of the body, the head. You acquired what I would express as a saber, with the weight of a broad axe. Of course, such weapon doesn't exist. You are going to perform such a perfect technique, at supersonic speed. All of a sudden, the great grand master Kaku Kaio appeared out of nowhere. Both of them are really surprised. Retsu then questioned. 
Grandmaster Kaku Kayo. When did you arrive to Japan? If I knew you were coming, I would pick you up right away. Ha. Huh. I didn't know I would see you so soon. Well. Katsumi, this man is Grandmaster Kaku Kayo. This person is the very representation of Chinese martial arts. He is Chinese martial arts itself. He's 146 years old. A hundred? He reigns at the peak of all the Chinese martial artists' rankings. Even Yujiro had a hard time fighting him. He's on the top, not for his past career, but for his knowledge and raw power. Then both of them bowed at him. Kaku Kaio replied. I've heard that the Japanese are modest people. You are more modest than what I've expected. Kaku Kaio then imitated Katsumi. He continued. Then, how come you rushed a crown with the word perfect? To that little technique of yours, I fail to see modesty in there. So, you've been watching us master? Of course I have. The whole thing. Karate will be stronger. You attained it. Let's add more speed. The saber with the power of a broad axe. At supersonic speed. Yeah. And so on. I've heard the whole thing since you arrived, Retsu. Grandmaster. Let me ask you then. Is there a technique that can be called perfect in this world? There is? Actually. Wanna see it? Then Retsu Kayo questioned. Is this what you wanted, master? Yup. Now, take a good look. This is it. The perfect technique. Then the great grandmaster striked the egg with an extremely fast speed. Cleanly cutting its shell without destroying the whole egg. Both Retsu and Katsumi are really surprised. Kaku Kayo continued. Am I cool or what? Forget about the 27 parts of the joints, the speed of the joints can be increased as many times as you want. A hundred? A thousand miles per minute? No problemo my friend. As fast as you want. After a while, we can see Arachi Katsumi trying to master the technique. But he already failed a lot. He then recalled what Kaku Kayo said. Hey, don't bother using all the 27 joints. All that I used was a few joints from the lower part of the shoulder. Only a couple of joints. And I still reached supersonic speed. Isn't it great? I actually used only a few joints. But truth to be told. No matter how the actual structure may be, the structure that I picture in my head is very different. Imagination has no boundaries. No limits. Do you get it, honorable Japanese samurai? Imagination has no limits? Katsumi then thinks. This can't be. Joints can't increase. Just by using the imagination. Increase the joints. By picturing the image. Like this? Or maybe like this? This is ridiculous. How am I supposed to believe in all this? Imagination cannot overlap the reality of the matter. You just can't do it. An egg. Why on earth does an egg wrap itself up in a shell? Sure. Of course. To protect that vulnerable body. Indeed. Maybe it wished for a hard shell. Wait, that's it? That's true. For example, those delicious leaves that grow high on those giant trees. Those leaves grow very high from the ground, and if I would like to eat them, I would have to wish for it very hard. By wishing it, giraffes stretched their necks. Elephants stretched their trunks. Yeah, for the sake of survival. The zebra has stripes. The tiger has stripes. The leopard's pattern. Insects mimesis. Bird's wings. The cobra's poison. All for the sake of survival. Their tenacity for life. The greatness of evolution it brought with it. How simple. How humble our body reconstruction for battle seems to be. Compared to. What those guys obtained. I'm sure I can. Like this? No. Like this then? No. This is it. Katsumi managed to imagine his arm to possess hundreds of joints. After that, we heard a very loud explosion within the Shinshinkai headquarters. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Arachi Katsumi now has a chance against Pickle with his new perfected technique? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, a Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Game Freak Plays, Thomas West, Casey, Aavik the Gamer, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, The Creeper, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Kowalski, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujaber, Brennan, and Davies U. Browse. We really appreciate your help. 
If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, LR Xiong. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about the perfected form of Katsumi and the beginning of his fight with Pickle. Stay tuned.